Wondering how to make a play all night Looking your way from out of sight Thinking I should ask if you're doing alright You weren't easy and so hard to ignore Pull up on your you get up from the car and look at the lightning decorated mansion in front of you. It's your future now. The remaining memory of your life you have to create over here. You smile slightly. No matter in what condition you got married. No matter how hard it was for you to put your dreams aside and get married to extend the business of your father. But you walk to live a beautiful life and you are going to live like the way you always dream. We took a deep breath and looked around. The whole mansion was decorated with the lights to welcome you, to encourage you to do well in this new chapter of your life. You were a little nervous to step inside as you want only happiness with you. Your mind flashes the words your mom said to you. No matter how young you think you are, but once you get responsibilities, you have to complete them with your all maturity. The new relation of this life will get stronger on trust and understanding. Suddenly you flinch when someone tapped on your shoulder. You turn and saw your husband. He smiled slightly at you. Let's go inside, Vayanshi. You got a hit cap. The soft voice that echoes in your ears. You never knew that you should be happy for this or you should get yourself ready for whatever coming next. Because this behavior of him already gave you the red flag. You know Jungkook since childhood because both of your parents are college days friends and luckily business partner too. Your relation with Jungkook was always like the Tom and Jerry relation. You both used to fight a lot, but later it turned out the bullying you. Everyone said that he is short tempered person, but he is a soft hearted inside. When you never saw his dad side, you always find him bullying you whenever he gets chance. He always be that one guy everyone wants in their life, heart robe up to school, and you always be that center of attraction girl, and all because of him. You are the only girl he give attention and that's the reason you got so many bullies in the school. He waved his hand in front of your face, you quickly stopped in reality. Shall we go inside Mrs. John Yen? You blush with the new name of yours. You nodded slightly, he shrimped and walked inside with his hand in his pockets. And you, who was standing there in the thought that what that shrimped for. Struggling your thoughts, you took a deep breath and walked inside while grabbing your dress in your arms. God save me. Walking to the hallway following by him, you reach your bedroom. As soon as you enter your eyes widen, you looked at Jungkook and he smiled slightly. You again looked at the decoration. A calming odor of candle in the dark room which were giving the dim light to the room. You get a sudden shiver in your body. The every preparation of the room was giving a romantic vibes. Your eyes travel to the table where a bottle of wine with two glasses was placed. You let out a deep breath, you again looked at Jungkook and he shrugged his shoulder. It's not me. Mom do all this. She was really too excited for this marriage. It can never be you. I was so shocked at how a boring person can do such a romantic decoration. You mum, but enough love that he heard it. Taking a quick step closer to you, he grabbed your wrist and pulled you closer to him. Your body directly landed on his chest. Before you could able to say anything, he grabbed your wrist and pulls you more closer, that your face remain an inch away from each other. A gasp left your mouth seeing the shrimp on his face getting wider. You said something? Who is boring? Jungkook, come on Jagya, we are married now and it's not good to call your husband by his name. 
This totally change in his behavior make your heart comes out of your chest. He might be aware of your heartbeat as it is too loud. He looked in your eyes and within a second his eyes travel to your hair which were tied in a bun. He slowly take out the pin from your bun and make them fall down to your shoulder. He smiled but you were still unaware of the situation. You even don't know what is happening so you decided to let it go like this. He combed your hair with his funny smile which made your body numb. You know that he is fully aware of this closeness. He knows that you are getting nervous by his touch and closeness but he still choose not to stop. We are alone now and even if you cry no one going to come to save you. And you can't say mom about this. So it's better not to push him me harder to tease you, okay? You looked at him confused and scoffed internally. How navy you are. You pushed him a little which make him smile even wider. I am all grown now. I can fight with you, okay? So don't try to order me, understand? You said shuttering with your words. He smiled and nodded. All grown, I can see. He said with a shimmick while your eyes widened, Yeah, you pervert. Your breath hissed again as you hold your breath in your throat. He kissed your cheeks. Your face turned all red, feeling his red lips on your cheeks. He backed off. You look so cute when you blush. You are crazy. You are really lost your mind, you coconut head. Holding your heart, you walk to the closet to take out the comfortable clothes for you. But you didn't realize that Jungkook foot was on your dress. First, it's already hard to walk in this heavy gown and now this. You tripped on your feet. You closed your eyes all ready to hit your face to the ground. But someone grabbed your waist and pulled you closer. You slowly opened your eyes and saw the person who just walked in your life. And going to be there for an hour. Feel free to fall now, I am here to catch, even when you fall in love. What? He helps you to stand straight and walk to the bed. Lying on it, he closed his eyes. You scoff. There is no surprise that he said everything to tease you. Such a pervert. Your stuff is still not here. So you have to stay in this gown tonight. Mom said she will send your stuff in the morning. Are you crazy? This dress is so heavy. I can't stay like this till the morning. Who said you have to wear this whole night? Take it off. I can understand how uncomfortable it might be for you to stay like this. Then what am I going to wear? You said my clothes are not here. You asked in a low innocent voice which make him more dominance to tease you. But I thought people won't wear anything on first night. Your jaw dropped by his words and he looked so confident with them. You grab a pillow and throw it to him while he laughed with his heart out. You pervert John Junko coconut head shameless man. You curse him while he take all your words by laughing loudly. You massage your hair and walk towards the closet, taking out one of his shirt and shorts. You walked inside the bathroom, struggling with your gown while he was still laughing on you. God knows where I got stuck. The tick tock of clock is in continuous motion. Jungkook already changed his clothes in the guest room and now waiting for you, lying on the bed watching some random videos on his phone. He looked at the door and again focused on the phone. It's about to be an hour since you were inside but it is all silent. Neither you come out nor any sound which say that you are inside. Jungkook put his phone aside and was about to get up to knock on the door. But before that, you yourself opened it. He looked at you confused while you were looking down. Did you really sleep in the washroom? You scrunched your nose and looked at him. No, your mom told me that you sometimes sleep in the washroom and your dad take you out from there. So I thought you really sleep inside because you are still in your wedding dress. You sign and sat on the bed beside him, taking a deep breath you messed your hair. 
I hate this dress. It's useless. You got married in this dress. How can it be useless? Yes, you are right. I'm married to a useless person in this useless dress and not this useless things. I can't be able to take it off. It's so hard to take off this dress. I'm going to go crazy. Your this useless thing is the most useless than your useless top. Turn around. Can't be able to take off a dress and call yourself a grown-up woman. Crazy. You just want to hit his face so hard, but at this moment, only this person can save you. So without arguing back, you turn around, back facing him. He took a deep breath and started to take out your dress. He slid the zip down, but it got stuck up. He scoffed. Your dress is also like you, like to trouble others. Wow. You rolled your eyes and waited there to unzip your dress. This happened when you put two people with the same mind together. It take him one more hour, but the dress is not out yet. He is still struggling to unzip it. You told him that it's okay, you will find other way. But him being a Don Junker now likes to get defeat. He is still trying and going to finish what he started. You grab your dress from the front when you feel the zip of it sliding down. His finger trace your bare skin and slide down the zip revealing your bare back to him. You quickly got up and went to the bathroom. Jungkook smiled in satisfaction. The victory of winning from that non-living thing is visible on his face. He leaned back on the headboard and again continued to watch the video he was watching before you come with that irritated word. You come out from the bathroom. His baggy shirt was looking more baggy on you. The first two button of the shirt was open as it's our habit. You always remain them open. But because of that your shirt was going down to your shoulder making them all clear visible. You wipe your hair with a towel and walk towards the bed. You bend a little to take your phone but your wet hair touches Jungkook's face making him all nervous. He quickly sits straight. What are you doing? The question was right but the way he asked was not the pleasant. You take your phone and show him. Sorry to disturb you but I was taking my phone. He got up and looked at you with suspicious eyes. You snarled. Don't you dare to lie to me. I know you were trying to touch my apps. You scoffed not believing what you just heard from him. He is your husband. But that doesn't mean that he can say anything come up on his mouth. You even have any apps so that I was trying to touch them. Don't try to be innocent. I know you better than anyone else can. In reality, you are the pervert. You bite your lower lip. It doesn't matter if your first night turn into fight, but you have to teach him the lesson. You walk near him and touch his abs seriously. He looked at you shocked. His big do chocolate eyes are on the verge of coming out. What are you doing? I am doing what a pervert do. Yeah, stop it or else. First you did to take revenge from him, but now you are enjoying it. It's the first time you saw his face this red. He looks so cute in this nervous face. Why? I'm telling you to stop, or else you will regret it later. He said, closing his eyes tightly. You shrink and wrap your arm around his neck. Well, I like being regret with you. His eyes were still closed. You can see the sweat on his forehead. You smile a little. Why? And don't blame me after that. Just stop doing all these pervert things. You didn't listen to him. It's so real to see him like this and you don't want to lose any chance. He opened his eyes and your mischievous smile turned into nervousness. Jungkook shrimp and wrap his arms around your waist and pull you closer. Your eyes widen. Jungkook, leave me. Why? What happened to your boldness? You were all confident a while later. I was just teasing you, please, Jungkook. He shrimped while you get an idea that something unholy might be cooking in his head. He checked you from head to toe and again shrimped. 
You tried to free yourself but his grip on you was tightened. Pay for teasing me. He smiled and started to get closer to your face. His grip on your waist is so tight that you can't even move back and more for some reason. You don't want to ignore this kiss. Both of your lips were just an inch away when his phone rang. You both quickly stepped back, embarrassing about the childish thing you both were doing right now. He said when he come out as a wrong number. Not to meet his eyes, he started to pour the wine to the glasses. You looked at him, finding ways to break the awkward silence. You gulped and looked around. Are we going to drink this? Why not? We are legal to drink this wine now. You now did. So much happened, but his voice was still steady. You were amazed by this. He took the glass and turned to you, but the glass fell from his hand and broke. Oh, sorry. He said and started to clean the mess. Suddenly, a piece of glass stuck into his skin. Ouch! Are you okay? Hey, your hand is bleeding. He looked at his palm and sulked a little. You checked the drawer and luckily you find a first aid kit there. You made Jungkook sit on the bed and started to treat his hand. What you have gotten into? You are behaving all strange today. Actually, I just got to know that I have an infectious disease and I might pass it to you. Your hand stopped and you looked at him. What? But you never tell. Is it curable? Is it dangerous? You said getting panic and showering him with cushions. Are not you afraid that I might pass it to you? It doesn't matter now. He smiled slightly, making you look at him confused. I think I already passed it to you. Disease of love. And before you ask me any other question, let me make it clear to you that I meant it. I meant my words. He grabbed the back of your neck and kissed you. First you were shocked, but after a while kissed him back. He deepened the kiss, pulling you by your waist. You can feel his hand sliding under the shirt, but you stopped him. He broke the kiss and looked at you. You said we are going to take things slowly. I know, but after tonight. He switched off the lights and pulls you onto the bed with him. 